Hi everyone, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a Manic Monday book review for The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. This is the first book in an epic 14 book fantasy series called The Wheel of Time. And I'm going to give you a really crappy synopsis that won't do this book any justice but just know that it's way better than it sounds. <laughs> in this book, time is a wheel and ages come and go, and the Dark One has tainted the magic system so that any man who uses the one true power eventually goes insane. And in the prologue of this book, a man called the Dragon challenges the Dark One and brings about the breaking of the world. In this book, there is a prophecy that a new dragon will come in the new age and challenge the Dark One, bringing about the breaking of the world again. And that's all I'm going to say because nothing I say will do it justice. <laughs> Basically, the book opens in the first chapter in this village called Two Rivers, which basically feels like the Shire, and we meet Rand, Matt, and Perrin, as well as other characters such as Egwene, and Moraine, and Aes Sedai, and just a cast of characters. The three boys, Rand, Matt, and Perrin, are being pursued by these evil monsters, and in order to save the village and protect their family and friends, the three boys and a convoy leave two rivers to draw the monsters out of the village and things go from there. So it's so hard to describe this book in a way that does it justice. Just know that it's really good. It's really good. One con for this book is the pacing. The first part of the book is pretty slow and he he has sections where you're just on the edge of your seat and you have to know what happens and there's so much going on and you're so invested. And then it goes into a slow couple chapters where they're traveling or there's not a lot going on. And then the action picks up and you're just on the edge of your seat again and then a more slow and it's just a roller coaster didn't really take away my enjoyment of the story it's just something to keep in mind as you go into this book another con just for me personally is i wish the magic system would have been explained a little more thoroughly I think this was done on purpose because you're supposed to find out more as the series progresses, but I'm used to writers like Sanderson or, you know, a lot of YA books where you know the magic system within the first part of the book, and Sanderson does a good job of including little info dumps so you learn the limits of the magic system, what the characters can and can't do how certain things affect the magic system and in this book it's I still don't fully understand it I'm sure I'll get as I get more info I'll understand it more but that's probably also why it's hard to give a synopsis because I'm still wrapping my mind around the magic system in the world and this world is incredibly vast with so many characters and one thing that didn't really bother me but might be a con to somebody else is the first probably third of this book feels like you're reading The Fellowship of the Ring <laughs> and that was done on purpose. I think Robert Jordan, if I did my research correctly, Robert Jordan wanted to pay homage to Tolkien and write what how he would have written the Lord of the Rings. So it starts off with 
kind of the same plot, character types, all that. But as the story goes on, Jordan really turns it and makes it his own. And personally, that didn't bother me because I love The Lord of the Rings. And I think that helped me get into the novel because it felt like something familiar. And I knew that because I've heard reviews of this book before, I knew it was coming up. So it wasn't like a shock. But yeah, if that bothers you, just know that it's not the whole book. And he really does change the story and makes it his own epic. One thing I absolutely love are the characters in this book. They're very well fleshed out. We learn their personalities, their flaws, their senses of humor, and just their relationships with each other just evolve. And one part of the story near the beginning, while they're leaving Two Rivers, their group gets separated, and that really gives us more insight into the characters. There's a smaller group of people, so we can focus more on the characters in this group and the characters in this group. And you just really see their relationship change. And I also love um, Moraine. She is an Aes Sedai, which is basically a woman who can wield the true power. And in these, this world, Aes Sedai's are viewed as the bad person and they're not trusted. But I personally loved Moraine. She goes along with them because she wants to protect them. And even though they don't fully trust her, they want to feel safe. So they go along with her suggestion or command that she goes with them. I just really like her character and I love the idea of the Aes Sedai and how they're viewed in the world and how the convoy that's with her changes their perceptions the more they get to know her. I just think Jordan did a masterful job with his world building. He he made this world feel so real. Like not only do we have these amazing unique characters, but we also have cultures. So he does get overly descriptive at times, but for him, I think his intent was like describing outfits people are wearing in villages or, you know, their hair or things like that just really go toward the culture of that village or that community instead of just trying to be descriptive for the sake of being descriptive. And I thought that was really awesome. You really get to see the relationships between different villages and how certain villages um, people trust Aes Sedai and then in other ones they don't. And you get to see their social mores and what's acceptable and what's not. And he does have different races in this book. Trollocs are like orcs and there are Ogiers, which are like giants. And I just love, I just love the detail that he put into this. Everything just felt so put together. I'm just in awe of what he's done and that it's a 14 book series. Brandon Sanderson did finish the series for him because he unfortunately passed away, I think in 2007. But just the world that Jordan created, no matter if you like the book or not, I feel like should be respected because it's so vast and rich. And every book you read, it just gets bigger and more complex and you learn so much. I'm halfway, no, 
I'm 75% of the way through the second book already, and it's even better than The Eye of the World. The other thing with this book, if you're new to adult fantasy like I am, I felt a little impatient at first because it seemed like it took me forever to read this book, but I think it's just because there's so much detail and so much you learn that you retain more if you slowly make your way through it. <laughs> the writing is very, very accessible, very easy to read. Um, Tolkien's writing is a little bit more archaic, and this one feels more like Sanderson, where you understand everything and it just feels like normal everyday speech, if that makes sense. <laughs> After I got used to the writing style and his, the way he does details and world building, I, the last 200 pages of this book really went a lot faster and then the second book I'm going through a lot faster than this one. So I think if you're new to huge adult fantasy, just keep that in mind. Don't expect to rush through it because you'll miss a lot. Just enjoy the ride. <laughs> It probably took me three weeks to read this. It wouldn't have take me, taken me that long if I had just binged it, but I feel like I would have missed out on a lot and I wouldn't have enjoyed it as much. But I did give this five out of five stars. I'm obviously continuing the series and I just, I'm really sad that I waited so long to read this because it's such a stunning work. So I hope this review was okay. It's really, I know I've said this a billion times, but it's just really hard to do a review for this because it's just so epic and phenomenal and rich. And it's kind of hard to explain some things without spoilers too. So have you read this series? If so, let me know. Or are you interested in possibly reading this series? As always, if you like this video, make sure to click the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.